family styles and icon packs. Oh my. Here at Font Awesome, we offer tons of ways to serve up your icons in any of your web or desktop projects. Changing icon packs, families, and styles is now easier than ever. And to prove it to you, we'll show you how. Font Awesome includes multiple icon packs, which means you have a large selection of icon families and styles to choose from. If you're looking for a wide variety of icons, our core icon packs like Classic, Duotone, Sharp, and Sharp Duotone are made for you. Each contains thousands of icons in four unique styles, solid, regular, light, and thin. And with Font Awesome 7, now you can choose from our new Pro Plus icon packs like Jelly, Knot Dog, Whiteboard, and more. These new icon packs are visually distinct from our core icon packs and each contain a curated selection of the 200 most common icons needed for app and website design. So what's the difference between an icon pack, an icon family, and an icon style? An icon pack is a collection of icons that share a visual theme. Whether you're going for something clean and simple or bold and expressive, each pack gives our icons a unique personality. An icon family, much like a typeface family, is a group of styles that vary by weight but share a common design. For example, our classic icon family includes classic solid, classic regular, classic light, and classic thin. Whereas a Pro Plus icon pack like Whiteboard might only contain one. Whiteboard Semi-Bold. Once you've added the desired styles to your Font Awesome kit or installed our web files for self-hosting, you're all set. Check out our other videos on how to get things set up. Let's say you want to add different styles of the flag icon into your project. Go to the icon search page on the Font Awesome site and pull up the flag icon. Simply copy the icon code snippet and paste it into your project. Here you can see you have the icon style name and the icon name. Now let's say you want to change the current style to another Font Awesome style. No need to go back to the Font Awesome page. With CSS, you can easily change the current Font Awesome style to any style of your choosing, as long as it's added to your kit. To start, let's change the style of the flag icon. If you want to continue with our classic icon pack, Simply change the style name. Let's say you want to try out the thin style instead of our solid style. Simply change the style name, FA-Solid, to FA-Thin. Click the Save button. And now you have the flag icon in our thin style. For all our classic icons, you only need to reference the style name in the code snippet. If you'd like to move to a different icon pack, you'll need to include both the family name and the style name. To reference a particular family, go to the beginning of the icon code snippet and type FA dash and the family name of your choice, like FA dash sharp. As you can see, you now have the icon family name, the icon style name, and the icon name itself. All the various icon styles Font Awesome has to offer means endless possibilities. Let's try out some different combos now. In the code snippet, change the style name, FA-Thin, to FA-Regular, and the family name, FA-Sharp, 
to FA Duotone. Want to try one of our new Pro Plus icon packs? In the code snippet, keep the style name FA Regular and change the family name FA Duotone to FA Jelly Fill. As you can see, we have the family name, the style name, and the icon name, all a part of the Jelly Icon Pack. Okay, just for fun, let's try one more. Change the style name FA-Regular to FA-Solid and the family name FA-Jelly-Fill to FA-Notdog. It's important to note that not all icons are available in our Pro Plus Icon Packs. If you want the widest variety of icons, stick with our core packs. But if you want a variety of unique designs, Pro Plus has got you covered. And there you have it. You've successfully added multiple styles to your project using Font Awesome. To recap, you learned about all the current icon packs, families and styles Font Awesome has to offer and how to use them in your project. See, that was super easy. And now it's your turn to go make something awesome.